Before the magician begins his next trick, we should remind you that he is a professional and that it's never a good idea to play with fire. He'll use the flame from this ordinary candle. Watch the flame. The magician transfers it from the candle to his thumb. Next, he transfers the flame back to the candle, where it belongs. Amazing. And since the trick is over, he blows out the candle, just to be on the safe side. So how does the magician transfer the flame from the candle to the tip of his thumb, then transfer it back without burning himself? Here are the secrets. The candle is real, and so is the flame. Remember, there is an element of danger. The big secret is a small gimmick hidden in his right hand, a flesh-colored plastic shell known as the magician's thumb. It contains a wick in the end. There's the wick. If we look inside, we can see plenty of wick and fireproof padding to protect his thumb. The wick is coated with lighter fluid, which burns brightly without burning the wick too quickly. When it appears that he is transferring the flame to his thumb from the candle, he's really just lighting the wick on the fake tip and using the plastic to extinguish the candle. The audience sees the flaming thumb and thinks he can hold fire in his bare hand. To put the flame back on the candle, he simply uses the thumb tip to light the candle's wick and then uses the wax to snuff out the flame on his plastic thumb. Now that the candle is lit, how does he vanish the fake thumb? He simply hides it in his palm while he is making his magical gestures. It's gone. And now you know the secrets.